What's up guys? It's all nerd everything. I'm back and it is May 2nd. Do you guys know what that means? You don't? Oh well, it is yes, the Rock's birthday. Dwayne Johnson. So I decided to make a top 10 list of my favorite Dwayne Johnson or the Rock matches in WWE. Number 10. Icon vs. Icon, The Rock vs. Hollywood Hogan, WrestleMania 18. This match, uh, the build was great. It was originally supposed to be Austin, but those two, like I said in my previous video, didn't get along. They were all over, the crowd was all over The Rock. They were cheering the hell out of Hogan. Uh, if you haven't seen their rematch at No Way Out, don't worry about it because it doesn't live up to the height that this match did. Number 9. Evolution vs. Rock and Salt. One of my favorite WrestleMania matches. One of the most underrated WrestleMania matches. This match was just made to get over the Randy Orton Mick Foley feud, which turned out they had an awesome match at Backlash the previous the following month so yeah watch this match this match is really underrated number eight Brock Lesnar and The Rock Brock Lesnar won, won King of the Ring The Rock won the title at Vengeance this was the first and only match we've been waiting for a rematch for years I hope it happens, but this match was awesome. This is The Rock's last match for a year before going off to Hollywood. Number 7. Chris Jericho, The Rock, No Mercy, WCW title. This match was incredible. Every time these two got in the ring, it was just magic. Chris Jericho was the only person that could touch The Rock when it came to mic skills. And this match was just awesome. Number six, Triple H, The Rock. The Rock was screwed out of the title at WrestleMania. Shane was made the referee. It looked like The Rock was going to get screwed again. So Linda McMahon put Stone Cold in The Rock's corner to even things out. And it was Stone Cold's first appearance in a year after going through neck surgery. The pop he got was great. Came out, helped The Rock. The Rock won the WWE title. They cheer. They celebrated with a nice cold beer. Number five. Triple H, The Rock, Iron Man match, Judgment Day. The last match, all three. The last time these three went in the ring together, Sean screwed The Rock out of the title. I'm not particularly into Iron Man matches, but this match was awesome. It was great. Shawn Michaels did call it down the middle this time and it was the debut of The Undertaker as the American Badass. So yeah, The Rock, Triple H, Iron Man match, number five. Number four. Stone Cold, The Rock, Backlash. This match was ten times better than their WrestleMania match, which is remembered more than this match for some reason. Uh, Shane did cost The Rock the title on accident. Uh, this did lead the, the Rock's baby face turn. Number three. Royal Rumble. Mankind, The Rock, I Quit match. This match was one of the best Royal Rumble matches ever. The Rock was swinging those chair shots. Like 15 chair shots. He wasn't holding anything back. Uh, Mankind would not not say I quit so he did play a tape recorder of mankind saying I quit in a promo leaning up to the build to the match so the rock mankind I quit Royal Rumble number two SummerSlam 98 Leader of DX versus Leader of Nation Domination. These two had great chemistry together. I think um, these two molded each other. They helped each other get to the main event to where they are right now because they had so great chemistry together.
and number one. The Rock versus Undertaker versus Kurt Angle at that's right, Vengeance 2002. This match is one of the greatest triple threat matches ever and one of the greatest matches of all three of these men's careers. This match was back and forth. All of them were copying, in, copying each other's moves. And uh, this was a hell of a match. I love going back and watching this match. It, I mean, it is one of the greatest triple threat matches ever. So yeah, do you guys like my list? Don't like my list? Tell me if I left something out, and I'll see you guys next time.